All right, guys, a little bit more griping and bitching from your buddy Dave here. Um, uh, my honest opinion is this plane has fantastic balsa work. I can tell that just by looking inside of the panels and seeing uh, the, the, you know, puzzle pieces punched out. Punch, 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 punch. And they assemble them. So what we've got here is a failure to communicate. Some plane... You just didn't finish. So we get what we had here last week, which was me doing it my goddamn self because they didn't want to do it. And let me tell you what I'm talking about. Look at this shit. And it only gets worse as we go down. And underneath, oh my God. It's a nightmare, guys. It is a nightmare. I'll have to completely redo it again myself. And... I've heard that these can be a real pain in the ass to get out of here because there is going to be air in there. It's not like I can just take the iron over it and, you know, it's a done deal. It doesn't work that way, I don't think. Anyways, it's an absolute, absolute lemon job on this, whatever they call this, coating that they put on it or shrink wrap, basically, um... A glorified freaking silver shrink wrap that they put on it. To be honest with you, I would have rather just not had the freaking shrink, shrink wrap on there. I would have freaking um, coated the whole plane in some type of uh, um, like a like a like a drywall putty or something like that, something of that nature. I'm not sure exactly what I would use, but some type of of a uh, a filler. And I could have gone over the entire freaking plane with that instead of this shrink wrap shit. And I could have made it look way better than this. That would allow me to sand down imperfections and get them absolutely smooth and aerodynamic. Uh, this is all wrinkled and bind, bound up here because that, that gets cut out anyways because that's where one of the, uh, the 50 millimeter are... Uh, 12.7 millimeter, 12.5, 12.7. Anyways, that's where the um, where the 50s go. The Browning machine guns, 50s. Uh, the Eleron. I mean, it's just Wrinkle City, man. <clears throat> I don't know if any of you guys are married or have kids, but uh. You know, this is a this is actually an after of what your wife's stomach could possibly turn into. After she uh, has the kid, she shrinks back down, and then those stretch marks come popping out. That's exactly what this plane looks like. It looks like this plane, this, this it was pregnant, and it, and it had its little baby wing, and then uh, and then it left them full of stretch marks. And then these places right here. Look at this right here. This right here. Is because there was a piece of tape there, and it just pulled it right away from the, uh, right away from the balsa. I'm sorry, guys, but for the amount of money that you pay for one of these airframes, it has to look better than this. I mean, it has to come from the manufacturer, looking, looking better than this, because this is absolutely unacceptable. Really, I mean, I have half of mine to take it all, pack it back up. And send it back and tell them to give me another one. But my luck, they would just send me another one that's even worse probably. So that's where we're at, guys. Um, I'm just fiddling around with it. Obviously, I'm not going to keep the wings attached. I just wanted to put them together to see what kind of area this thing takes up. So I'll be taking those wing tips back off. Um, I wanted to see that it fit and everything lined up. Uh, perfectly this actually came out a little bit this actually closes up a little bit more than that it actually looks more like that one over there but uh i honestly just wanted to get an idea of how how uh big the wingspan was and uh it is um uh, well it dwarfs it dwarfs that 1500 millimeter p47 which is actually a, a pretty decently sized plane it's 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 actually uh bigger than the free wing 262 if I put those two side by side, you would notice that that, that P47 is actually bigger. And this thing is twice 
that size, if not more. So, uh, yeah, guys, just a little griping session because, uh, because I can first off and, and also because, um, uh, I'm not wrong in this. Um, this is an absolutely horrible job from the manufacturer. They should be ashamed of themselves. Horizon uh, su supposedly prides themselves on um, uh, their products and, and and they stand behind them 100%. Well, I tell you what, man, I'd like to see the asshole that would come to me and stand behind this plane and say, I am proud of this and I'm the one that did the work on it. I would like to see that guy do that because I'm going to tell you right now, they'll be like, what are you talking about? That's not one of ours. That that uh, that 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 came from somewhere else. We didn't actually do that one. They they would come up with something. <laughs> oh man, it's actually frightening because my wife is going to come in here tomorrow and she's going to see this and she's going to see all these wrinkles, and she is actually she's going to be more pissed off than I am because. Um, I picked this one out because the P47 was discontinued. So I picked this one out and she's like, oh, you might just be jumping into the first thing. And I was like, no, it was either that or the P51. I already had my mind made up. You know how women think sometimes they think that you're just jumping to something because something's not available. Well, that P47 hasn't been available for a long time. And I was trying to find one on the aftermarket or somebody selling one secondhand. Um, and uh, there was just nothing out there. They have a smaller one, but I'm not interested in that. I wanted the big giant scale. Um, and the other one that I had been looking at the entire time was the P51 as a backup. And uh, what a nice backup to have. But this one actually looks like shit. She's going to see this tomorrow and she is going to be livered. Because when you spend that kind of money and shit looks like this, that's... That's a kick in the, that's a kick to the pills, man. So, um, thank you for that, uh, Horizon. Um, I, I always wondered why I uh, never purchased the plane through Horizon Hobby before, and um, well, if this is any indication of what Horizon Hobby's quality control is about, then uh, I'd rather not ever um, purchase anything else from Horizon Hobby. So, choke on that, Horizon. Um, hopefully. Hopefully this is not the way they do work and that this is just a complete, like, they, this one shouldn't even have made it through and they were like, oh, no, no, don't put that through and they, and it accidentally got put through by some new guy that's working there. I mean, I could see something like that happening, but uh, the condition of this plane so far is uh, a lot of touch-up work that needs to be done. So I'd rather do it my goddamn self anyway. So whatever. That's it, guys. That is the video for now. I was going to start uh, putting the control horns on and everything, but um, it actually took me a minute to get everything lined up and lined and get these things pushed together. The the left side here, uh, the rods were fitting very, very snug and didn't want to go in. Uh, this side went in, went on like, like nothing, like a dream. So um, that's it, guys. That's it for now. Uh, we will continue with this nightmare tomorrow. I'm not going to worry about any of the um, ironing until after the plane is completely done and assembled. Um, in between the time I put the uh, power system in it and the retracts until the time that we actually get it out on the field to fly it. I'm not really worried about it right now. The biggest thing for me is to get this thing uh, completely assembled um, where I can take the wingtips off and uh, have the fuselage in this part because this is the way it sits. It'll just be the fuselage in this part, and then the wingtips come off, and it can actually sit on the retracts. It's actually it's actually a really, really cool design. Um, just done half-assed. Um, and when you do things half-assed in the RC world, it could cost you. And uh, I'm going to tell you something right now. By the time it's said and done, when this thing's hurling through the air at 100 miles an hour, whatever it might be, um, you better have your ducks in a row, man, because... That is a large investment, and I'm telling you right now, it's not like you could just crash it and the next day go buy another one. It doesn't work like that, man. These things are far too expensive to be um, uh, dealing with anything of that nature. So uh, it looks great so far um, as far as the way it's going together. Like I said, it's lining up nice. Um, 
just kind of overwhelmed about the condition that it's in. Um, oh, well, it is what it is, man. Shit happens. Learned my lesson. Won't buy one of these ever again from them. Um, and if I do, it'll probably just be the, the balsa kit version from someplace where I'll be doing my own painting or stuck, whatever it is. The, um, I'll be doing all that myself. Um, I won't, I won't be receiving one in this condition again. I can guarantee it. Fool me once, my fault. Fool me twice, your fault. So I won't be fooled again. And there, there are some serious dings all over this thing. I mean, it's just, it's just too bad. It's too bad because, um, it's actually not too bad. It's, not, it's straight up bullshit, man. It is. It's, it's just straight bullshit. Sorry, guys, I'm venting. Um, this is going to be fun, though. We're going to be putting this thing together right in front of you guys. As the parts come in, we'll be doing them. Uh, the next thing that's coming in is the retracts. We'll be putting some control horns on. We'll be doing all of that. The servos are coming um, and the retracts. So the servos and retracts will be the next thing that go in. And then after that, it'll be the motor and the ESCs and uh, the battery. So stay tuned for those videos. We'll be making these right along the way. Every time I complete something on the plane, I'll be putting up another video or another blog to show you what I've done. Uh, that's it, guys. That is it. You guys enjoy the rest of your evening. I'm Dave. This is Dave's RC. Later.